Welcome back to my series on travel. Today I will be giving tips when driving and flying based upon my own experience with being a single mom, having a type A personality, and being an organized person. So with driving, what I encourage you to do is the night before, pack as much as you can so you don't have to do too much in the morning. So keep a change of clothes out and ladies, keep your makeup and hair stuff out. Um, sometimes I'll even exchange my purse. So I have a really large purse and depending on the trip, I'll sometimes make it into, I'll use my wristlet, which just holds the basics, phone and my money and my driver's license. So, but that depends on the trip. <clears throat> so you may want to do that beforehand as well. In the morning of your trip, make sure you have the directions in your GPS, your Google Maps, or whatever you use um, to get there. You may want to schedule your stops for a bathroom and or like a lunch break. So for example, when I drive to Spokane, Washington, which is only about two, two and a half hours away, I always stop in Ritzville, which is about the halfway point. And I use this point to grab a drink, get a coffee, get lunch or bathroom break. And Ritzville is only one and a half hours away or so, but I still make it a point to do that. I make it a habit. <clears throat> just because it just makes the drive more enjoyable, more relaxing. And so wherever you're going, you may want to stop, schedule a stop every two or three hours for just some stress-free driving. Um, when I drive back from my destination, I usually give myself some extra time in case I see some really neat things along the way out, you know, while I'm going down there. Um, for example, when I drive down to Oregon, Multnomah Falls is a big stop on our way back or on the way to Oregon when I visit down there. I've also stopped at viewpoints and other monuments that I thought were really, really cool. Um, and that I either do that along the way or I do that coming back. Again, it kind of makes the trip more fun and just a little relaxing. <clears throat> because after all, when you're on vacation, you're not really in a hurry. Who cares what time you come home? With flying, I always make sure I have a paper itinerary and then I have a plane app on my phone. So for example, I will show you, <clears throat> I usually fly, um, usually fly Alaska. So Alaska has a plane app. So right here it has my trips with New Orleans and then I actually have my itinerary when I look here. So there's the itinerary to and from. Um, I will also though bring this along. Oops. So I bring along my booking confirmation as well and have it in hand. That way I just feel more secure with what is going on um, as far as stops and layovers and that kind of thing. With the app, it's really cool because it'll it'll it can tell you um, you know if your flight is delayed, you could be taxiing and it might change a gate on you or whatnot. <clears throat> so that brings into my other point when traveling um, on a plane is when I'm taxiing, I can get all my stuff organized on the plane. I have it in my mindset. I'm going to go to the arrival and departure screen to make sure I know where I'm going because it could change at the last minute too. Um, I go there. I find out where my gate is. Now, unless I have to go to the bathroom really, really bad, <laughs> I that's the only exception that I make. But otherwise, I go straight to my gate wherever it's at because it could be on the other side of the airport or it could just be a little bit down a ways. Um, so I make sure to find that first. Then I can look around, I can see what's around to grab a drink or if I wanna buy a magazine or a book. Um, just, you know, look in the gift shop just because. You know, I may have a couple of minutes or use a bathroom nearby there. That way um, I don't feel so rushed and it's again more relaxing. And if I'm closer to my gate, I'm right there, I'm seconds away, versus being way over on the other side and realizing, oh my gosh, I only have two minutes to get to my gate to board my plane because you were distracted with other things. So I really encourage you to find your gate first and then you can do whatever you'd like to do. Um, again, it makes for less stress. Also make sure that you have a phone charger with you on the plane. Um, that, because a lot of them, you can, they have charging stations at your seat. So you can use that charging station to charge your plane, or excuse me, your phone um, at all times. And at the end of your flight, take a deep breath. Give yourself time to grab your suitcase and to find a taxi or a shuttle to get to your hotel. You know, 
the biggest thing is, is just take your time and enjoy the new destination that you are in. That's why you're on vacation. Take a deep breath, enjoy going to there, enjoy coming back. It doesn't have to be stressful. So I hope these few tips have helped. And next time with this series, I will talk about ways to incorporate exercise and still enjoy your vacation. See you later.